Unlocking Customs. Total Clearance Fees Explained. Welcome back to our channel, where we discuss all things related to customs brokerage and international trade. In today's video, we're going to talk about one of the most common questions regarding customs clearance. What is the total fee for customs clearance? When it comes to customs clearance, there are several fees and charges involved. Let's break them down one by one. First and foremost, is the customs bond. A customs bond is an important requirement that ensures compliance with customs regulations and covers any potential duties, taxes, or penalties that may arise during the import process. The cost of a customs bond can vary depending on the value and type of goods being imported. It is essential to have a valid customs bond to proceed with customs clearance. Next, let's talk about the Importer Security Filing, or ISF. This is a mandatory filing requirement for all ocean shipments entering the United States. The purpose of the ISF is to provide timely information to U.S. Customs and Border Protection about the cargo being imported. Failure to file or inaccurate filing can lead to fines and delays. The cost of filing an ISF can range from $25 to $100, depending on the customs broker or freight forwarder you choose. Now, let's move on to the customs brokerage fees. Customs brokers play a vital role in facilitating the customs clearance process. They handle all the necessary paperwork and ensure compliance with relevant customs regulations. The fee for customs brokerage services can vary based on factors such as the complexity of the shipment, the value of the goods, and any additional services required. On average, customs brokerage fees can range from $50 to $200 per shipment. In addition to the above fees, there are certain customs duties that may need to be paid. These duties are imposed by the government and are based on the classification and value of the imported goods. Customs duties can include import duties, anti-dumping duties, and countervailing duties. It's important to note that the rates and calculation methods for customs duties can vary depending on the country of import. Another fee to consider is the storage and handling charges. If your goods are held in a customs warehouse for an extended period, you may incur storage charges. These charges can vary depending on the size and weight of the shipment, as well as the duration of storage. It's essential to understand the storage and handling policies of the customs warehouse you choose. Lastly, we have additional charges that may arise during customs clearance. These charges can include examination fees, document handling fees, and any other fees levied by customs authorities as part of the clearance process. It's important to consult with your customs broker to understand the potential additional charges that may apply to your specific shipment. And there you have it, a breakdown of the total fees for customs clearance. Remember that these fees can vary depending on various factors, so it's always a good idea to consult with a customs broker to get an accurate estimate for your specific shipment. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell to stay updated with our upcoming videos. Disclaimer note below. See you next time.